Filipino architecture, one of the many defining traits of our country's character and lifestyle. However, is there really such a thing as Filipino architecture? And is it truly a unique and distinguished style, or merely borrowed from our colonial past? What is Filipino architecture? Since the beginning of our pre-colonial history, native Filipinos have been crafting and dwelling in structures made from natural materials. Fibro-constructive technology has introduced the Bahay Kubo, a cube-like structure elevated from the ground, the signature structure of early Filipino buildings. Soon after, the Spanish colonizers introduced a European form of building, the Bahay Nabado, and a quadrant-oriented town system with a church and plaza at the heart. But when the Americans arrived, architecture was geared toward grand structures, iron skeletons, and modern forms. Not to mention, urban planning was a big part of city development. Until the present day, with postmodern styles, sleek, strange forms with various organic touches. To wit, the Filipino style and form of architecture has been changing over time to adapt to the needs of the people and the influences from other cultures. The many aspects that make up the field of architecture have different variations across multiple countries and cultures. To say that one country is the utmost true form of architecture is incorrect, simply because architecture is informed by climate, culture, surroundings, and so much more. Architecture is universal and has many variations. So what then makes our architecture Filipino? The collection of various cultural influences that define the style of our structures aren't 100% pure, but are now Filipinized versions of the originals. It is a unique trait that merges influence and native instincts to create a kind of its own, an architecture for and by Filipinos, an architecture that is Filipino at heart but diverse in form. This is what makes our architecture truly Filipino.